Hi guys, in this video, I am going to show you that how you can add PayPal smart buttons onto your product page. So in the previous video, I have shown that how you can uh, add the PayPal smart buttons, I mean credit debit card buttons onto your cart page. So you can see over here, here we have the buttons like PayPal and th then de debit or credit card. So these are on the cart page. So in this video, I will show you. I will be showing you that how you can add uh, the same buttons onto your product page. So here we have uh, the product page. So if we are interested to add those buttons over here, so I will be showing you step by step. So keep watching this video. So if you have not subscribed this channel, just click on the subscribe button uh, to subscribe this because in the coming videos you will get notified for whatever I will be uploading onto my channel. So let's start with the video. So first of all, you need to go to your uh, Shopify dashboard. So you can see over here, like we have, uh, I have clicked on themes. Once you are clicking over there, then you will be getting this screen. So you need to click on actions and here we have edit code. So once you are clicking that uh, link, then you will be redirected to a screen where you can access the code of the backend. So here we, here we will be. Uh, getting all those folders and files in which we can edit or maybe customize the things which we are uh, wanted to. So here we have the layout folder, then we have the templates. So we need to go to the sections and here down below, you will be getting the uh, file product-template.liquid. So once you are clicking that one, then this would be opening up and here you can add the customized code here. So uh, we need to copy the code from the PayPal. So you need to go to developer developer dot PayPal dot com forward slash demo forward slash checkout. So once you are going over there, then you will be getting all the code here. So first of all, you need to copy this script of line number 15 and then paste that on the top of this uh, file then after you need to copy from here line number 17 to line number 42 so you need to copy this whole code and then paste down below so i will be showing you where to add so just scroll it down so here where you are getting get started with the json so uh, above it you need to add the script so then finally we need to add this specific uh, element div element which will be helping us uh, to show those buttons so line number 11 and 12 you need to copy from here and then paste those lines down the down below the uh, cart page so you can see over here we have the add to cart page so i am going to write that thing over here right so once i am going to click on save so once that would be saved and let me refresh this page so you can see that those buttons are showing over here so finally we end up with those uh, these two buttons but here maybe we uh, we will be having some problems like uh, uh, i have already hided uh, one thing which is paypal default button so you can see that uh, by default you will be getting this type of button wait a minute so let me save this one and let me refresh this one so you can see over here like we will have the default PayPal button uh, yes this one so we are not interested to use this one right now so we need to uh, do the comment over here so here we have the comment so I have comment this line so, and then saved so once you are saving this one then this uh, button would not be shown on this product page so once you refresh then you will be uh, able to hide this one and another thing is for example you are not interested to uh, use this add to cart button here you can also hide that one so you can see over here we have the add to cart uh, id here so this is the button so you can copy this one and on the top you can add the style so for example i am writing here style then we have style tag close inside of it i am gonna write the id so the name of id is 
add to cart and inside of it I am gonna write display none so once I am going to save this one and let's refresh this page once again so if you will be refreshing this page you will be getting nothing over here so, so that means we have hided the add to cart button all right so if you are still facing some issues then you can uh, contact me i will be adding the uh, contact details on the description below so the final thing that we have left behind is uh, dynamic price so you can see over here in the script we have the static price so you can see that value equal to 0.01 dollars so we are interested to make it dynamic according to the product so you need to write here product dot price and then you need to write divided by divided underscore by then hundred dot zero so why I am writing this one so let me show you so if you will be scrolling it up and here on the button uh, below this button I am gonna write one line of code which is like hello world this is only for understanding you that why I written th that price in that way so for example I am just saving this line of code and going to refresh this page once again this is the product page actually so you will be seeing that we here we have the hello world alright so let me show the price here so here is the product dot price so if I, I am writing here product dot price and let me refresh this once again so you will be seeing that we have 422 so that means we are no more able to differentiate the decimal point all right so for that i have written the formula which is like you have to write here divided by divided underscore by 100 dot zero so why i have written dot zero to use it as a decimal value i mean floating value so for example you have 4.22 so that would be acceptable if we are using 100.0 so you can see that we have 4.22 so this 4.22 we are going to pass to the to these PayPal buttons to accept uh, the payments all right so this value must be uh, correct so that's why I have written that formula so now I am going to delete this whole line because I have no more needed this one and one last thing that we have is uh, we need to add the client ID here so I have already uh, created one more video of how to find the client ID from your PayPal account so I will be adding the link into the description so you need to watch that video to find out your client ID from your PayPal account alright so you need to just copy and paste it over here and then we will be having the currency so according to your country you can uh, add the currency here like we have the US dollars for example you have Indian rupees you can write here INR and if you have the euro eur you can write so uh, according to your country's currency you can add uh, over here right so then after we have the, we, we have to replace this sb with the client id so finally we end up with everything so if you are not interested to remove these uh, this add to cart buttons you can also remove this uh, style from here and again you can refresh and you will get that specific add to cart over here all right so if you are still facing any issue or if you are thinking that you are not able to manage all these things you can contact me i will be happy to help you out you can uh, contact me on the whatsapp as well so one last thing is like you know that i am struggling a lot and i am also creating videos so if you are interested to donate something i will i have already added uh, the links on the uh, description so you can donate whatever you wanted to because uh, we if we will be growing the channel uh, with the technical videos then a lot of people would able to uh, get the benefit out of uh, the problems which they are uh, facing na uh, in their technical aspect right so if you have still not subscribed the channel just click on the subscribe button and also like this video so i will be adding a lot of good stuff on this youtube channel so keep watching all these videos so thank you so much for watching this video so see you in the next one